guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming some swatch party videos. I have a few new palettes that just got here in the mail and I'm so excited. So as you guys can tell from the title, today I am swatching the Violet Voss Flamingo palette. This has me so excited and I just thought it would be fun to hop on here and show you guys swatches in case you plan on picking this palette up once it launches. I do want to have a full review and everything up for you guys soon. I'm actually wearing the palette on my eyes today. This look was inspired by Puffin's Wife. If you haven't seen her YouTube channel, she is so beautiful and she is so quick to review stuff. So if you want like the latest, 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 she's the girl to watch. But yeah, I just thought it would be fun to go ahead and swatch this for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I know if you guys are like me, this is like a breath of fresh air for Violet Boss. I am such a huge fan of theirs, but I haven't bought anything new from them since the Ride or Die palette, which is the last palette I purchased from them. Nothing has really called out to me the way this palette did, so I'm so glad they did something new like this. So let's go ahead and swatch. And I really like the mattes in this palette so far. I usually don't put the shadows on my eyes until after the swatch party. But I was kind of lazy this weekend and didn't film anything, so I figured I would start playing with the palette so I could get you a review faster. But uh, the first shade is called Flamingos, and then we have Donut, we have Flip Flops, and Bikini. So those are the first four shades in this palette. Okay, so the next row is kind of the blue, pops of blue row, and a beautiful pink color as well. Let me just swatch. So this is the shade I'm wearing as my transition today. It's Oceanfront. Then there's a beautiful shimmer shade called Tidal Wave. And that's gorgeous. And then we have this teal called Beach Ball. <laughs> and there they are. And then the last shade is called Watermelon. And it's super beautiful pinky like coral shade. So there you can see them. I really like Tidal Wave in the swatch. I was thinking I was having a hard time with these shimmers, but they actually work okay when you pick them up with your finger. I was having a hard time trying to use a brush with them. So maybe once I like peel off that top layer, it'll be a little bit easier for me. Next is a beautiful yellow row. So that is what that row looks like. Let me swatch. These sleeves are so obnoxious. <sighs> These shades, I think with a primer, they are fine on the lids. They look a little dusty, but I don't think you need to worry about that so much. So we have Lemonade, we have Pineapple, which is the beautiful shimmer yellow, and then we have Popsicle and Sunbathe. Super duper pretty. I think these colors pair really well together. I think they did a good job. Like I said, I've only played with a few of the shades, but so far I think I am happy I picked this up. It does remind me a lot of the palette I picked up from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, the Summer Vibes palette. And I also just got the new Jeffree Star Thirsty palette, and it reminds me a lot of those shades as well. So we will have to compare. So there are the next shades. We have Surf, which is a beautiful blue gold shade. Coral, which is a beautiful coral shade. Island, which is a beautiful peachy color. And then Sand, I think is a good like brow bone highlight color for most skin tones. Okay, and now I'm gonna swatch the last row. And they did include a black, which I've heard mixed reviews. Some people are happy there's a black in it. Some people think the black could have been left out. Um, I don't know how I feel. I don't usually reach much for blacks, but I understand why they're in palettes. So this pink shade, which didn't swatch so well, that's the one I actually struggled with when I first picked up this palette. It's more of a sheer pink, and it's called Seashell, which kind of makes sense. Pinwheel is a beautiful, like, a red gold shifting shimmer shade, and then we have Sandals, which is, like, your basic, you know, crease color, and then Black is called Sunnies which is a cool name, you know, Black Sunnies. So there is the last row. Okay guys, so these are all my swatches of the Violet Boss 
flamingo palette. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think this is going to be something that you're going to get your hands on when they launch it officially? I picked this up on like a pre-sale that they did, which was nice because honestly, like nobody likes waiting for makeup anymore. It's just like a tragedy when you have to wait. So it's nice that they you know, did a little pre-order so people that really wanted to get their hands on this stuff could. And yeah, I'm really excited for this palette. At first I was a little bit nervous about the shimmer shades, but I think I can work with it and use my hand. And maybe once I get past that first layer, things should work okay. Yeah, I really am excited and I can't wait to bring you guys a full review. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know if you're planning on picking this palette up and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!